really three simple things. He named Ron. Awesome, but he decided to go another way, and now he's a hobo named Roger because of his friends. Thought they didn't like him anymore, so they said, You are enemy now! And Roger was like, Oh no, I have no friends, but loads of enemies. Roger lives day to tomorrow, but the change he gets to off string or something. Sometimes he. When he gets enough money, he goes to the local shopping center called Teco. He can only buy things that were on sale, and he only buys things that were on sale because he doesn't have enough money. Sometimes he even gets enough change to buy chicken when it's on sale, and he goes to the KFC and says, Can you cook this for me? And they do it because they are his enemies and spit his food. Yeah. Today, on the most windy and stormy and rainy and cloudy and sad of days, he decided he needed to eat and went to Teco. When he went inside, there was no baskets. It was weird. Roger thought that he must be grie grieving them a bit today, so he kept going. He saw that the bread was on sale, and he was going to buy it. Then a big, fat, hairy man ran up to him and said, No! That is not for you! And he took the sale sign away, which made the bread go up to $100,000! This is all in the future, and that's normal for the future. Roger made a face similar to this. <laughs> he said, But if you don't give me that, I will serve... And the, fat man, <laughs> and the fat man laughed, and his fat went bouncy from laughing. And one of Ron's enemies died, so Ron felt his anger rising. That happens when his enemies die, and he punched a man so hard that his fat fell off. And the man was so angry that he cried blood. Then the lights went out so fast that Roger knew he was going to be murdered. A black mist came up from the cereal boxes, and the baker was flying everywhere. <laughs> Pancake licks splashing over the counters. Razor's freezing at higher temperature than normal, so that was freezing the frozen peaches too much. Ron went, Ron went far away. The aisle that was always full of people had loads of sweets and crisps. Yum. There was like 10, no wait, 15 monsters there. All with black eyes and ugly with blood and tears that looked like bacon but were actually dead people's skin. He screamed, Batman, help! But when the fat man came, he said, You punched my fat. I will pay. I am your enemy. Then he ran and went inside a freezer but forgot the freezers froze too hard and then he died of freeze. Roger ran to an exit. It was almost out when he tri tripped on something. He looked down and saw his enemy smiling at me. Help me. The pancakes were too string. And then he said, no, I am Roger. You are Ron's friend, not mine, Smelly. And then he ran outside the door. He was safe. He got out. He escaped. He avoided death. He was alive. He was tall. He was safe. He was Roger. Then he went back <sighs> with the bread, but forgot about the monster. So when he got the bread, the monsters came out between the slices. They cried blood from the mouth, saying, We are your enemies, Ron. He said, How do you know my old name? And they all ate him, and he just fell down on the floor, crying from death. And his last words were, I am all your enemies. Then he fell down and died. Just before he died, he said, I will now be a supermarket monster. So, when you are... He's telling you got all that recorded. Yes, yeah. almost all of it. Wait. I wasn't even fucking finished. Just please, please send this to the brigade. I will. Is Mithy alive? No, she had to die. Just <laughs> like the doctor. Do you believe in our Lord and Savior, Mithy Christ? We'll start using that now instead of Jesus Christ. <coughs> praise the Mitzi Christ. Finish the story. story. My Catholic school for five years was just praise Mitzi. Praise Mitzi! It must have been horrible. Hey, Catholic school was the best five years of my life. Catholic school was fucking awful because I'm an atheist and I went to Catholic school for like four years while I was atheist and it was just, it was shit, man, I tell you. I don't know what I am. I'm just, I'm just pizza. <laughs> I just sit on the couch not giving a crap. Are you gonna finish the fucking story? Hello? Mitzi, you missed everything. You, you really did. I, I, I missed I, everything? I told, I told that. Just told. You didn't even finish it. I'm still recording this. You left at the wrongest time. He gave out a magical story. I also talked about me solving a Rubik's Cube with my nipples. Oh, I already knew about this. You knew about the, the, the full Rubik's Cube? Wait, what? Yeah, I knew about the Rubik's Cube. Oh, yeah, I'm the Pebbles. Mitzi, did you, did you love that link I sent to you? Wait, what link did you send to me? I, I asked you that the video volume was too low, so I said, <coughs> go it on high. Oh, yeah, that. That fucking thing. 
No, I prefer to have ears. Thank you very much. <laughs> Did you at least watch all of it? Because it is amazing. No, I didn't. Oh my I god! I figured it would just be the same thing throughout the whole thing. Yeah, it's just Sanic the Hedgehog going through a bunch of levels, Sanic. and it's funny because of how poorly drawn it is, and it's just like it's just like a flipping mirror going really, really fast. Let's go really fast. Sanic. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still recording all of this. <laughs> You still recording this shit? Yeah, I don't know why. I was You're waiting for you to finish this? the story. I mean, I, I will probably not keep that promise. My phone's passing the fuck out. <laughs> oh wait, they're all from me. Oh shit. <laughs> um, I think Meg just fucked. God damn it, Meg. God damn it. I really what has happened to Meg? Oh my, my red ones broke today. The ones what? that I thought were revived.